WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 92, NASDAQ up one, S&P's up two. Gold, gold contract up uh, $30.20, trading at 1828 an ounce. We had silver up a dollar 21, $24.41 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 90 cents, $76.09 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note traded down 21 ticks at a price point of 113.15. The 30 year up full point plus 23 ticks at 128.02. You get the 10 year right now, folks. Trading, yielding 3.69. So the low of the last three months is 3.417. You know, you're up a couple hundred basis points, well, 270 basis points from that level. And King Dollar. King Dollar down uh, 693 ticks, 104.027, Euro 106, Yen at a price point of 131.74. That was down 5.17, and the British pound out here at 121 to 1 US dollar. What we're going to do first, I just want to go to the dollar first and the yen, because Tonight is going to be a big deal. You're going to have the Nikkei open back up again. We'll see where this yen goes, but I can tell you, the dollar, you know, the yen is 14% of the dollar, folks, okay? Bottom line, guess what? It couldn't break the low, and that's telling me that this dollar still wants higher price. That's how this is set up. If we go to and take a look at the yen, you're going to see the same type of setup. So if there's not follow through tonight, um, and what I mean specifically there is this is that the low of the yen four months ago was the 130.41. We went to 130.51, okay? And if that yen starts getting weaker again tonight, let me tell you something. That's it. That's more information that the dollar wants higher price. If we go take it, if the dollar wants higher price, we're going to continue lower inside the equity markets. We take a look at the SPY. What you have with the SPY out here today, you get a sideways move. You did uh, 65 million shares. The gap is 381.14. And the bottom line, it couldn't get over the gap. We went below the gap, and it's not over the gap. So that's saying, guess what? We're going for the highs of the lows of March. The NDX 100 is already into the highs of the lows of the March. Let's see, let's see how we closed out here with the NDX, the three Qs. I don't know how that always happens. One, two, three. So we take a look at this baby. This closed down 21 cents. The gap here is uh, 268.56, and we're at 269.54. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks.